guys, Director George here. I uh, just wanted to say that I'm gonna leave the uh, the link for the uh, the uh, article that I used for the video, which is coming from Disgusting Film on Twitter. So make sure to shout out to them and the link for this article, for the tweet uh, with this article and the trailers for Secret Invasion and World of My Night will both be in the description. So if you guys want to see my fat face explaining it all, if you guys want to read it, it's in the comments. So enjoy. So D23 uh, Marvel Studios panel happened yesterday and today I'm going to give my, a, com, a full complete breakdown of, every, of everything that was announced and shown at D23. So let's talk about everything now. So we begin with Black Panther Wakanda Forever which we already knew was coming out. Some of Most of the cast was there but uh, they, sh the, they did show two scenes of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Um, one which was Namor and Baku having a fight. I don't know where, probably uh, from that sand scene from the trailer where Mbaku was attacking Namor from behind. And we also had another scene which was the Dora Milaje attack attacking those soldiers at the Wakandan lab. So um, I'm excited to see those scenes when the movie officially releases. So now let's get into the uh, next project. So then we had the official announcement of the of this year's Halloween special, which will be Marvel Studios' Werewolf by Night. So this project was I confirmed and rumored uh, to be in the works for a while now. We had a Disney Direct World of by Night in Moon Knight in one of the episodes, I think episode 2 if I'm not mistaken. And finally the, the movie, uh, the Halloween special was announced and it will release on, Di and on Disney Plus October 7th. And we also had a, a trailer which looks really cool and the director for this uh, uh, movie will be Michael Giacchino who uh, composed all the Spider-Man movies of uh, Tom Holland and the Batman with Robert Pattinson which released early this year. So it's cool to see him now uh, directing movies and not only you know, composing for them. So that's cool. So then we had Ironheart. So this this panel was, uh, was uh, this part of the panel was really short but we, all, we, all, we had the announcement that Anthony Ramos who played the hood in the show uh, which was already kind of confirmed through set photos of him in the hood outfit. Uh, in the set filming so it's good to see that finally the casting was announced and now confirmed to be the hood uh, even though we already knew that so now we have the the part of, of loki season two so if i'm not mistaken no uh footage was shown at, at the panel uh, including some kang footage so now we have secret invasion and they they finally released the, uh, the first trailer for the for the show with samuel jackson and talos uh both in the trailer so uh, uh, this show uh, lo certainly looks a lot like a thriller and kind of reminds me of The Winter Soldier. Uh, it kind of gives that like spy espionage kind of feeling which I really like and it's good to see Marvel go um, to these darker projects. Uh, Werewolf we'll Final was an example, we saw an arm, an arm getting cleaned off, uh, you know, cut off. We also saw a lot of blood splashes in the of Finite trailer, so it's cool to see Marvel is going uh, towards darker movies. Same thing with Deadpool 3, which will be rated R whenever it releases. Bring it on one night, Willie. Ooh! Yeah! Your bullets! They're really fast! We did not have any announcement. Of Deadpool 3 in D23, probably next year, I think in Comic Con or next D23 um, next year, or maybe in, uh, a new Disney Investor Day, who knows? So, yeah, the trailer looks really awesome, and I really can't wait to see it. Also, talking about Secret Invasion, it also leads up to Armor Wars, which stars Don Cheadle as War Machine, and I'm really happy that the show wasn't shelved and cancelled which we really were worried about uh, since I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before San Diego Comic Con, they do not talk about Armor Wars at all, so we all thought that um, it was cancelled, but thankfully it isn't. It got a new uh, sweet logo to go along with it, and the show is probably going to release uh, late 2023 or early 2024 as part of Phase 5. So that's still a long way to go, but we gotta wait. So now we have the best part of the panel, in my opinion, which is for Daredevil Born Again. So we had Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio uh, coming onto the stage to talk about their excitement for Daredevil Born Again. Uh, and we also had a new logo 
which had the double D's, which kind of gives me some hope that we will finally see the double D's on that beautiful uh, their their devil suit from the necklace show and we'll also show up in She-Hulk but in yellow and red so uh, we will finally see the double D's probably in the show so that's exciting um, but now we have probably one of the most surprising parts of the panel if I'm gonna be honest which is Captain America New World Order which is the first Captain America movie starring Sam Wilson or Anthony Mackie so um, the, most of the cast came on the stage really awesome then we have Danny uh, Ramirez, which will play uh, Taurus, which is which, which will going to be the new Falcon in the MCU. Uh, you no know, filling that spot for Sam Wilson. Uh, Isaiah Bradley will also be in the movie, so that's really cool to see more of that old Captain America era. I think it will be very cool to do flashbacks and see how why and how he was um, you know arrested. But then we have the we had the confirmation that after 14 years since Incredible Hulk. Uh, Tim Blake Nelson will be back as the leader for this movie. He will be the main villain of Captain America 4. Let's assume you don't understand a word I'm saying, but if you'll just get back on the table, I can fix this. So that's really exciting. I'm loving that the MCU is finally bringing back uh, these iconic villains from uh, The Incredible Hulk. We started with Abomination, Shang-Chi, and now She-Hulk. And now uh, the leader will finally appear in the MCU, so that's really awesome. Really can't wait to see him. And now we have the Thunderbolts, which is probably one of the most controversial parts of the panel so far. So, um, in this panel, we... In this part of the panel, uh, we had um, the director and the cast show up and we we found out the, the lineup for the Thunderbolts, which it's kind of I'm, I kind of have mixed feelings since all most of these characters basically have the same abilities mi minus one. So the 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 lineup is Ghost, uh, which is uh, the main villain main villain I guess from Ant Man and the Wasp uh, Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, Red Guardian, which is uh, the, that Russian Captain America from Black Widow played by Deborah Harbor. So to see him have more time now in the MCU since Stranger Things uh, won't be filming for a while now. So it's cool to see him now in the MCU. You know, Yelena Belova, which will probably be the leader of the Thunder Thunderbolts in this movie, since she's the most stable, I'll say. Uh, John Walker is uh, is also part of the, the lineup, which was kind of obvious. Um, uh, and Taskmaster, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's all the full lineup, if I'm not mistaken, I think I forgot anyone. I forgot Bucky Barnes, yeah, I forgot Bucky. Yeah, Bucky is also part of Thunderbolts, which really doesn't make sense to me, but you will see how that plays out, and that makes sense why he's not in Captain America New World Order. Oh, New World Order. Punk with it. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it's cool to see all these new characters, and Taskmaster is also in the, in the lineup, which I'm pretty sure is, is the most favorite out of the whole team. I kind of wish we, we would have seen Zemo or, or Abomination or both in this lineup. But that's sad to see that we won't see them probably for a while now. Especially Abomination since he is now more of a charismatic kind of guy. So, And the panel ended off with the Marvel showing some new footage of, of a fight that will apparently go... Uh, will, which will apparently happen after the post art scene of Miss Marvel with... Kamala switching places with, with Carol Danvers, uh, and Nick Fury will, will, will also appear in the movie. He will be the training um, Monica Rambeau, so that's really cool to see that uh, Nick Fury is appearing in all these um, uh, upcoming MCU projects. So that's really cool. To see. Thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment below. If you guys think of these news, and if you guys are excited for, uh, for the rest of the MCU. I'm Brunil. Peace out. Take care.